Hi, I'm Tim Music, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an 8141R, Excel's new corrected HEI cap. Uh, first thing we want to do here is uh, disconnect uh, your pigtail connector from the HEI, uh, pull your coil cover off of your stock HEI. Uh, I already went ahead and pulled the screws out. And uh, the next thing what you want to do is take your coil out of the HEI. And that's real easy to do. Pull these four screws out here. Make sure you remember where the ground strap goes. And the coil pretty much lift right up off of there. Pull your little flag connectors out here. And your coil comes right out. You also have your ground strap that also pulls right out or pushes out from underneath, however you want to do it. And there's a grommet and also your carbon brush. Now from here what you want to do is mark your number one cylinder where you can currently see where you have number one at uh, make sure your rotor is lined up and make sure you have that marked on there as well from there you can take your HEI cap off and at this point we're already set up pointing at number one where we want the number one cylinder to be so this will be a pretty easy cut and dry installation however if you're not already pointing at number one what you can do is roll your motor over to top dead center and you can do that by pulling a spark plug out and feeling the compression stroke or you can look on your balancer just make sure you're not 180 degrees off on the distributor now this one like we said we're already set up pointing at number one cylinder so what we're going to do is pull our new Excel corrected HEI cap out and as you can see looks just like a normal HEI cap internal guts of it are a little bit different but predominantly the same as what you're used to seeing. Uh, it also comes with brand new hardware, a new washer, pack of dielectric grease, a ground strap, and all the goodies that are needed to put it on. So installation, pretty much straight cut dry forward. Put your HEI cap on there. Find the index tab. Put your little J hooks on there. And they grab right into the bottom of the distributor, so really easy to use. Just a flat blade screwdriver, and your caps on there. Next step thing, next thing to do would be to put your coil back in there. And don't forget to put your carbon brush, which will sit right in there, and then the little rubber washer. And you can put dielectric grease on there too. A lot of time that help, that'll help from spark leaking out. Put your ground strap back in, like so. Coil, make sure the contact's sitting on the bottom. That only goes one way. Sits right on there. Coil positive back in. Coil negative back in the little slots there. And then you can go ahead and screw your coil back down into the cap. That's just four happy little screws that go in there. What you can do here is put your coil cover right back on there. That's held down with the three screws. And your next step would be to plug the coil back in. It just snaps right on there. There's a neat little Excel pigtail that we offer in the line as well. What that'll do is hold your power and your tack wire right on there and then gives you a long enough pigtail to go ahead and install on your tack and your power. Now we know up here is number one and essentially what the corrected cap is going to do is make so the firing order allows the wires to come off sequential into the correct cylinder that they go to. So this being number one would be your front cylinder, number three would be your second from the front, number five cylinder would be the third one back and number seven on this side and it would be just the same for the even cylinder bank two four six eight and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and 
we'll put our set of wires that we made on before the video and kind of show you how they go on nice and even and neat. Since I got number one here, we'll put him on up here. Clicks right on there. We got a nice little wire marker there to show you number one. And you can run right down to the spark plug. Hook up number one. Then you go on to number three. Next in line, number five, and number seven. And as you can already start to see, instead of having the standard HEI wire mess or big ball of spaghetti, as a lot of people call it, or an octopus, whatever you want to call it, these are coming straight off the cap and they hook up corresponding to the cylinder that they go to so it gives it a nice clean look and now you can see you have your wires all in order they come out nice and neat no tangles no chance of cross arcing and that's a pretty well simple job on how to install an Excel corrected HEI cap part number 8141R